I decided to roll in Pathway Engineering because not only is it interesting, but they have a great engineering program. I had enrolled in the electronics program so that I could kind of gain a basis before I went to college about how different types of electronic equipment work. I wanted to take my electronic skills and also apply it to a larger mechanical field. That's why I'd gone into engineering design development. The Project Lead the Way courses are m much different than your normal high school classes because it only sticks with only one major concept or field group. What surprised me was how much I was going to learn in two years. I learned things that I never thought were even possible, how to become a civil engineer and different careers and stuff like that. So I learned a lot of new things and that surprised me the most. I thought it would just be another course, but it's more than that. It's an interactive course. Some projects I really enjoyed working on was designing a house on a program called Revit where I got to build it myself in a program and I got to design it and I also got to build a library with many type of different aspects so I enjoyed that so much. We had to build cable cars out of everyday materials. We had to build paper bridges using just paper and two little blocks. And we also had to build a flying machine with very like garbage bags, just little pieces of paper. Other students that would like to design a process, we could do many different other things, such as using the 3D printer to print a box that they needed, or a gear or something like that. I found out that I got to use the math I learned in my high school into the Pathway Engineering program, such as physics and calculus, stuff that I learned, I got to use. I think it's definitely hard coming up with all the ideas, because when you come up with an idea, you sort of realize that, hey, maybe someone else has it. So it really just comes down to what can I think of that someone else hasn't already done. The most challenging part in this class is sometimes we do get deadlines and that's part of every, every project. So the hardest part is getting things done on time and doing my homework. Working as a team is more complex in this class than it is in most other general classes because you have to be so involved for a longer period of time rather than two or three weeks on a single project and when it comes to engineering, the more people you have, the more brains you have, the better things to do. So I did have to learn how to work as a team, but the more you learn, the better you get, and the more teammates you have, the faster things can go.